Hey, you, do you like sky textures? Yeah, that sky texture was pretty cool, but I'm talking about sky textures that look like this. Or how about this? So, you want to learn how to do this? Well, you're in the right place. Warning, I am doing this tutorial under the assumption you know the basics of GZ Doom Builder. If you don't know the basics of GZ Doom Builder, then I really don't recommend you watch this and learn how to do GZ Doom Builder or Doom Builder in general first. Okay, warning over, let's get on to this. Okay, so I am going to teach you how to do this. Now, here's the thing, here we got our main sky textures out. If you want to find these sky textures like these, you can just look up Sky Texture Seamless on Google and download them. But now let's get to the real spicy stuff. Now you may notice that um, these are JPEGs. And the thing is, GZ Doom doesn't like JPEGs. So what we're going to do first is that, well, we're going to make these textures textures. Now every texture, if it's going to be like wall textures, it should have PPSR and PPN. And we're just going to hold down Shift and click. Right click graphics add the texture yes and do that and boom hit C now to make them not JPEGs you click on this well you hold down shift and then click but make sure you click that first right click graphics and then you want to go to convert to and then you want to go to PNG true color and convert all now you now we already uh, put them as a uh, um, texture so it, it's okay now and now we can just save good job you just got done with the difficult part now on to this real stuff okay so here we have we're in GZ Doom Builder we put our textures in we made a map and then we saved that map into here and make sure you're doing this in GZ in the Doom UDMF format now here we have is our little room that we created there's our Doom guy there's our sky now what we're going to do is that we're going to make two sectors. Now, the first sector we're going to make is for the sky, so we'll just make it, like, big, you know? Okay, and now we're going to make a little, little dummy sector over there. Technically, these are both dummy sectors, if you really think about it. Now, for the first sector, what we're going to do, we're going to go down to this floor and put sky texture over here and a sky texture over here, and then we're going to go to line depth mode highlight all that right click go to properties hit that go to line horizon and hit ok and hit ok on that and hit C now you want to go to things mode put a thing in there and now you want to go down to where it says cameras and interpolation and go to skybox viewpoint and hit ok press C and press W and move down to here and um Make sure it's like at the center. But another thing I recommend you doing is if you have like these skies like too close together, it may look a little weird. So I don't recommend you, you having them like super scrunched together, like everything all sandwiched. Just mm, pretty much like that. Now you can press save. Now for this sector, what we're going to do first is go to sectors mode, right click on that. And now we're going to go to properties and we're going to give it a new tag. That is tag one, hit OK. And now we're going to go to line depth mode and we're going to right click on the first line and go to 223, sector tag one. And how about south very slow? There we go. 223 is scroll four. And 224 is scroll ceiling, sector tag one. And your speed will be that and there see now we got all that there we can hit save and we can hit play and as you can see boom you got a 
Sky that's like similar to how Quake Skies work. Now, how about we add more to this? How can we add more to this and make it look a bit better? Maybe you don't. Maybe you don't want it to be like that, which is why we're gonna highlight all this. And if you're using GZ to Builder, things in the sector will be moved along. You can leave this sector alone; it doesn't matter where you put it. It'll still make this thing go, as so long as you have tagged it. Now we're just gonna make it a little bigger. Now, if you wanna give these more spunk, here's what I'm gonna do. Now I made these little mountains. And these mountains are actually going to be incredibly useful for what I'm trying to do. So I'm just going to click on all these individually and do that. Now I'm going to highlight all these right quick. I'm going to go front. I'm going to give this, uh, how about this? Actually, not. Nah, how about this? In the back. this all right there now we can hit okay now now that we have our mountains ready what we can do now is that we can highlight all of our mountain textures and now we can move them down we're gonna move them what we're actually gonna do right here is that we're gonna move them down until they touch the floor because we're gonna make this not look weird You can use the arrow keys to move all this, by the way. And also kind of does this annoying thing, but you know, not like horrible what it does. A little bothersome. Now we can just do a little bit of that, change the floor, let's give it a good texture, we'll give it this. We're pretty much make recreating that one sky texture I showed you. Move the camera in the way you view was fit for it to be moved. We can press W, hit save, and since we don't need the floor, we can just make that action zero and hit OK. And you know, let's uh, make a little box that we can walk up to and see how our very beautiful sky looks. So let's look at that right now. Ah, see that? Ooh, that looks beautiful. That looks nice. Now, another thing you can do once you're making these sky textures, and this is a trick I actually think people should do. But first, we're just going to do this little thing real quick, just so... Everybody can get a nice taste of that beautiful sky. There we go. Let's hit save right there. What we want to do is go to sectors mode and highlight those two sectors. Right click. Properties and you can change the light. Now changing the lighting can actually really affect on how your sky textures look. Because you can make them look like this. You can just hit save. And then watch this magic unfold. See that? That is how drastic they can change. It's kind of beautiful almost to see them change. In fact, let's edit this some more. Let's we'll change our sky into something different. Um, how about something like this? Also, I do want to stress this right now is that it is best for you to use like big textures instead of little textures. Little textures, I mean, you can just sandwich the camera and the sky some more, but I really recommend you using bigger textures, you know, just for that better effect, essentially. So, yeah, we can, like, change this. Let's make this a little more scurry looking. Okay, it doesn't look scary, just looks very weird, but, yeah. Yeah. And then you can just hit save. So, yeah, that is about it. That is how you make quakish looking sky textures or cool sky textures. Anyways, um, I'll see you guys later. Bye.